My husband-to-be wants everyone to know I'm not pure. I've been with my fiancé for six years and engaged for the last eight months. I've been doing most of the wedding planning, but my fiancé, let's just call him Ryan, will give his input here and there. So about a month ago, Ryan out of nowhere said he was talking to some of his co-workers and thinks that I shouldn't wear a white dress. This was totally weird to me. Ryan is a very artistic guy, so I figured this was more about how the photos would turn out or something along those lines. But I'm set on wearing white. I told him this, and I could see that he was annoyed, but he let it go. Two weeks ago, I finally picked and paid for my dress, and this caused a huge argument. Ryan again came to me very annoyed. He asked to see the dress I picked, but I said no because I wanted it to be a surprise for our wedding day. He asked me to at least tell him the color it was, and when I said white, he threw a fit. I honestly do not see why this is a big deal. Almost everyone wears white on their wedding day. When I asked him what color he thought I'd be wearing, he told me I should wear red. Again, this was super weird to me. I asked him why I would want red in my wedding, and he told me that brides only wear white when they are pure. For some background, Ryan and I started dating when I was 21 and he just turned 20. He was a virgin when we met, and I only had one other person who was my ex-boyfriend of four years throughout high school. This caused a lot of problems the first year of our relationship and we almost did not continue dating because of how insecure he felt. After that year, it was never a problem again until now, I guess. He went to his mom with all of this, thinking she would convince me, but she's on my side. So two nights ago, Ryan, his mom, and I stood in our living room and argued about my intimate life being shown in a dress. His mom stated that he is no longer a virgin either so maybe he should wear red too? And he burst out crying. Ryan is still stating that my wearing white would be deceiving all of the guests and that it is different for guys. This all has honestly made me question even marrying this man. I don't know if it's because everything is so fresh, but I'm really disgusted by him. He's not even religious. So I know this is just about him thinking about me losing my virginity at 18 before I even knew him. I just needed to rant to anyone about how psycho this is. Now for the comments. Look, if he is this insecure after six years together, things are not going to improve. Is he going to mention your impurity in his wedding speech? Is he going to try to leverage this in your marriage to get what he wants? Is he going to demand paternity tests for your children? I'd seriously consider what you are signing up for. Dude sounds messed up as F. Jesus, throw the whole man in the bin. For six years, he has been planning on getting back at you for not being a virgin at your wedding. I'm petty as F and would just stop having intimacy with him. When he asks why, I would say since he finds your intimate history so disgusting, he is now part of that history, while you tell him to go pack his crap and go find a virgin at 26. This is not the kind of guy you want to marry, and why is what you do behind closed doors anybody else's business? Update. This is my update one year later on the whole situation. I will start by saying I did not get married. Ryan made that decision quite easy for me. I remember reading a comment that said I had to already have been done with the relationship for me to move on so fast. That statement was very true. As much as I want to be the bigger person and not slander Ryan, he deserves it. I won't get into all of our issues but there are some big ones that I would like to address. The absolute deal breaker for me had nothing to do with the red dress, but instead was all of his little lies. 
that built up through our entire relationship. Ryan is very smart. I can't take that away from him. We actually met because even though I am a year older than him, he graduated a year before me. We had mutual classes. For someone so smart, he always gets caught in dumb lies. As far as I know, he never cheated on me. That was something that I know a lot of people assumed. But even now, I don't believe it. There was never any big lie that caused massive drama, but rather a mountain of little white lies that always made me question why. He would lie to people about having allergies. He would lie about stopping for food before coming home. He would lie about losing weight. He is a healthy weight with a very normal build. He would just lie about so many things that did not matter. My issue with this is I had absolutely no trust in the man over literally nothing. I never held him back from doing things, and he never asked permission to do things. So him going out of his way to lie about meaningless things really made me start to resent him. I do not think he ever talked to his co-workers about the dress. I think that was another lie. After telling him I did not want to be together anymore, I asked him about everything that happened surrounding the wedding. I got no real answers out of him. Until this day, I have no real closure. My best assumption is that he got sucked into misogynistic forums surrounding purity and made up a story to bring it up to me. Our breakup was pretty nasty since he talked about me a lot online. For the most part, I had support. No one ever reached out to me or threatened me, but it's still annoying having my feed filled with rumors I cheated and broke up our engagement over nothing. There was a lot of name calling as well. Apparently, I'm ran through. I'm fat. I let myself go. I look miserable without him. Eventually, he stopped on his own as I never acknowledged any of it. Even with the online harassment, he never really fought to save our engagement. I was actually hurt by how he seemed equally as ready to part ways. We have no contact with each other at all, but I do know that last month he actually got engaged again. All I know about the girl is that she is 23, a hardcore Catholic and actually looks very sweet. For her sake, I hope they work out. I do not still talk to Ryan's mom. Sorry to disappoint. She was very kind to me through everything, but for me to continue talking to her would be a bit weird. I still got a happy birthday text and a Merry Christmas. I did have a date two weeks after I called off our engagement. That didn't go anywhere, and it was never meant to. For me, the date was to just see if I felt any guilt from moving on, which I have none. I had a huge career shift two months ago, and now I'm living in Philadelphia, far away from all the drama. I'm happy with where I'm at, and he seems happy with his life. I don't think I'll ever have to interact with him again. I'm sorry for waiting so long to update. There was just never really a right moment. There are also probably many grammatical errors, but whatever. If anyone is interested, I do have pictures of the dress. I read the original, and all I could think was that the whole white wedding gown thing had not a bit to do with purity and everything to do with status. Queen Victoria got married in a white gown. So all the society ladies who could possibly afford something as truly frivolous as a fancy white dress that would be worn just once followed suit. Hence, the white bridal gown was born. Prior to Victoria, most women got married in whatever their best gown was. The color didn't figure in a whole lot. Glad you dodged that nuclear warhead and have a good life now. Ryan is emotionally unwell. I'm sad for his new fiance. I'm sorry this happened to you. You deserve better. Sounds like you dodged a bullet. Yeah, better off without him in your life. All the best in your new job. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.